Which scenes have you found most gruelling? Which of the bits that have really, really taken it out of you? Um, the emotional stuff is, is hard. Um, the, 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 the salesman stuff is, is a lot of words and a lot of kind of getting, getting things, getting a lot of information across very quickly and very confidently. But the, the emotional stuff is, is, is difficult because it's difficult. Um, uh, it's hard to go to that place and be, and be that person uh, often. And not just the sort of weepy crybaby. Uh, the, the, the angry stuff, too, is, is hard to do. Mm. Is there any, is uh, the one that stands Especially when you're out? staring at Elizabeth's face, who looks like, talk about a hurt puppy, um, and you're berating this poor person, um, who is a very good friend of mine and who I like very much. Uh, so it's hard to, to get to those places of, of sort of deep, uh, seated emotion, um, but it's I think what enriches the ex ex enriches the experience. I'm not suggesting that what I do is uh, physically. I'm not a lead miner. Um, it's not like uh, it's not like the ha world's hardest job, uh, but it but it does take a, a lot of kind of mental focus for an extended period of time, uh, and there is of course a physical aspect to it. But um, it's 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 a lot of focus for a long time, and it's a lot, and it's a long season. It's not as long as some, but we don't have any any breaks, any weeks off or anything. It just goes straight through. So I'm pretty exhausted by the end of it, and I, and I don't have a lot of days off either. Uh, so it's 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 a well earned rest when I get to the end of it. How did you get to grips with the the feminist issues in Mad Men? Because it's it's quite breathtaking at times the treatment of women, and obviously it changes throughout the series, throughout the seasons. Um, we try to we try to portray it as as realistically as possible. I mean, these things these these attitudes were were around. They were present. Uh, my mother was a secretary. That's how she met my dad. Um, she was a secretary to to my who t turned out to be my godfather. And my father went to visit uh, this guy and said, you know, basically like, "Who's the honey on your desk?" And that was my mom. And you know. Four years later, out came I. <laughs> uh, so it, it, it was certainly part of the of the culture, and and we're as as surprising as it is now, just from the times we live in. Uh, I don't know if the attitudes, have, the, the the fundamental attitudes, have have changed. I think there's there's quite clearly a, a, some sort of sexism that still exists in the world, if not the culture at large. But I think it's it's uh, hidden better. Mm -hmm and not as, as widely uh, seen.